Welcome to Civilian Tactical Pirate Edition. Yes, you heard me right, because today with the help of a professional reloader, we're gonna take Pirate Chain, a popular cannon shot, and adapt it to be a professionally loaded shotgun shell. But is it reliable? Are there any legitimate reasons to use it? And most importantly, will it kill? Well, taking a look at our visual samples of the actual rounds we're gonna be firing, you can see these contain some very interesting types of chain. So let's test all three to find out. The types you're gonna see are going to be our thick chain, our medium chain, and our fine chain. So how did pirates use chain shot? You see, they would take a long length of chain like this, shove it down the barrel of a cannon, not professionally loaded like what we have today, and they would fire it at their opponent. As this would whip through the air, the idea was it would hit rigging and important lines, tearing the boat apart, making it inoperable. And sometimes for added energy and momentum, they would add massive cannonballs on either side of the chain. But before we get to the lethality test in ballistics gelatin, we want to know, is this stuff gonna fly accurately? We've got our three paper targets ready to go. We're gonna go from fine chain to heavy chain. Let's load them up. These things look pretty slick. They Thanks to the help of our professional reloader. This is not something you want to try at home and this is something that I'm not gonna be doing myself. First up, fine chain. Next up, our medium chain. And third, we have our biggest chain of them all. From all of these, we got A zone hits. I thought our fine chain right here would spread out a little bit more, but it didn't seem to. Our heavy chain, of course, had a pretty tight pattern because the chain itself was not very long. And our medium chain also stayed fairly bunched up, but it did get a little bit more cutting than our fine chain. This is just such a gnarly pattern for a single impact. The cut is about four inches long. Now I kind of want to see how much energy they all have on impact and how much they'll explode their target. So we have three pineapples here, one for each type of chain. Again, starting from our fine chain, working our way up to our largest chain. First up, our professionally loaded fine chain. Three, two, one, firing. I didn't see a ton of energy transfer, but it did slice wide open with the length of the chain cutting through. Next up, the professionally loaded medium chain. Firing in three, two, one. It is starting to smell amazing out here. We hit that second pineapple and it actually looks like we barely nicked the edge of it. But I think this is because as we could see in the slow-mo, the chain is staying bunched up a little bit longer than I would have expected before it spreads out. So we're kind of hitting it in a swarm of buckshot style, which leaves us with the one pineapple that's gonna get hit by the large chain. And finally, our professionally reloaded thick chain firing in three, two, one. Now for this guy, I thought we barely nicked it, but if you turn it, you can see we carved out a solid chunk. This just flew through so quickly that we didn't see a massive explosion. So I'm pretty surprised this nick didn't explode the pineapple, but our ballistics gelatin test, of course, is going to tell all. But since we nicked that pineapple and I really want to see full energy on this large chain, I got this five gallon bucket of water, which should ideally get hit and explode showing us the amount of damage this thick chain can really do. Thick chain versus water jug loaded by a professional firing in three, two, one. Now I didn't see the chain exit on the slow-mo, but this was that entrance. It's spreading out quite a bit already. And look at this. We have our six link of chain. This is welded together and they didn't break apart. That was a lot of energy completely dumped into the target 100% since it didn't pass through. But now let's test all three types against our ballistics gelatin. And of course, first a word from our sponsors who make this possible. Today's supporter of our scientific shenanigans is going to be Go Dark Bags. They make these excellent EMF blocking bags that you can open up very easily. Grab your cell phone and drop them inside. When you close them up, it blocks all cell signal from getting in and out. And boom, like that, you're as good as having a burner phone. Make sure to check out Go Dark Bags. Their stuff is seriously good. And lastly, a shout out for HSL Ammunition. Now, they're not a sponsor of this channel because you guys have been using their code too much. Because if you use code SHIP9, all the nine millimeter in thousand round packs gets shipped for free. And they said, yeah, we absolutely cannot be sponsoring you if we're giving away this code. But I double checked, the code still works for free shipping. Now let's get back to the video. First up, our professionally loaded fine chain. Three, two, one, firing.
Oh my goodness, let's take a look at these results on the gel. I just watched the slow-mo, and man, I've never seen around slap ballistics gelatin so hard, but just on the surface. Because looking at this, it looks like the gel stopped all of the chain in the gel, and it didn't penetrate much at all. As you can see right here, it slapped in about an inch, which I would say is no penetration, versus something like birdshot, which could get about this much penetration or more. But it sure tore up that gelatin like nothing else I've ever seen. On to medium chain. Firing in three, two, one. Honestly, I have to say I am pretty surprised from our medium chain shot. You can see it's still sticking out of the end, but it did penetrate four inches in, ending right here. So we gotta pull this chain out. Oh my goodness. You know, that is perfectly deadly. Just look at how the force though has mangled that chain, even though it did make accurate impact. And finally, our professionally reloaded thick chain firing in three, two, one. One. Okay, so that was terrifying. As you can see, we're not all the way at the ballistic skeleton. We are at my new truck, but this is that chain. Somehow the chain that I thought would penetrate the most hit with the energy of a paintball gun or maybe just with the speed. And then it came flying back at me and nearly knocked me in the noggin. But there's a little bit of consolation here. You see anything that hits ballistics gelatin and then bounces back at you may hurt and may leave a welt, but because we've got our eye pro and our ear pro, it's not gonna cause any permanent damage, maybe some bruising or a welt. But the impact didn't even penetrate and these are our three chains. I would say the medium chain is going to be the most deadly and I'm actually 100% surprised by this. I thought our heavy chain would definitely be the winner. So what are my thoughts? I think chain shot is a tool best left for pirates. And as far as you and me are concerned, this was a fun experiment, but it is not deadly. So make sure to subscribe and this won't be the last time I see you.